Yes, we can hear the background Morning. noise too. Okay, I'll make my voice a little bit louder. I was asking about 5G. What, 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 what yeah, should we expect you. from uh, China's yes. 5G rollout this year? Okay, thank you. Um, I think it is quite obviously China is continuing to lead the 5G development. So by last year, they have almost 700,000 base stations deployed. And also we can see the 5G connection reached 200 million, which account for 87 percent of the global connection. So we can see they are one of the leaders and they also have planned to add extra base stations in 2021. And on top of it, I think the industry here in China are quite dynamic and they're trying to promote innovation and also trying to make the most of their um, coverage of the 5G coverage and also would like to explore more on the industry applications. So the enterprise business and 5G to business, we can see a lot of uh, new uh, development and exploitment here. So during our show, you can so Han, see some is... of the exhibitions already mm. showcase. Sorry. So Han, what role is China playing Sorry, in setting I lost standards you. around? What role is China playing in setting standards around 6G? All right. Okay. I think at the moment we can see not just China, but across the. Uh, the world and some countries and regions exploring 6G development. As GSMA, I think we need to focus on um, unlocking the full, full potential of the 5G and make the most of our resources. And we have to say a um, global standard-based approach is the most appropriate. We have seen through 3G and 4G uh, the global standards approach have provided a lot of value to our industry and to the society. So um, we hope that people will not waste their resources or um, optimal technology and uh, especially fragmented technology is not preferable. And GSMA is committed to um, bring all the industry together and we will focus on 5G at the moment, but for 6G, we would um, really um, promote the global standards approach. Okay, so let, let's focus in a little so bit more on, on 5G. Is, it's it's, not it's a good. technology that only has value if, if you have applications right now, and as you laid out for us, China is leading the way in rolling that out. Can you talk to us, what are you hearing from a lot of your members? What are the newest applications of 5G that you're seeing right now on the ground in China? Okay, thank you. Um, at the moment, we, we've seen a lot of, I think it's 5G has just started. So let's be honest, and um, it's not a sprint, it's like a marathon. So we're at the beginning of it. We can see China is leading at the moment, but they are exploring a lot of vertical industries. So on the show floor, you can see from the finance, education, um, manufacturing, ports, um, aviation, various vertical industries now is using 5G to digitalize their business. But on top of it, we just yesterday launched a China 5G in verticals case studies with 21 5G use cases in real life. So we hope that will help the um, industry to learn from each other and we can really unlock the full power of 5G. So Han, before we let you go, where are we in terms of adapting to the restrictions that the U.S. has put on telecom company providers like Huawei, but the telecom companies themselves as well? 
Yeah, I, th I think it's a tough uh, situation, but as a global organization, I think we're not in the position to comment any political issues, but we would like to promote the technology and use the technology to advance people's life and industries and society. So I think our industries should be open and fact-based and we really need to focus on really advance our technology and also use technology to benefit people's life and our industry and business, especially under this pandemic situation. I would really would like to see people can use our mobile technology to help them to recover from the pattern, uh, negative impact from the pandemic.